The heroes and villains you know and love from the Blizzard multiverse come together to duke it out in Heroes of the Storm, an epic battleground team brawler where you and your friends can get up to some serious mayhem and annihilation. Blizzard is among the top developers to make MMOs that people go crazy over. Heroes of the Storm, in my opinion, has not fallen short of this long history of greatness. Heroes of the Storm recently launched, bringing us something that incorporates a little bit from every game. Battle.net described the game as a raucous online team brawler starring your favorite Blizzard characters. Build and customize heroes from across every Blizzard universe to suit your playstyle. Team up with your friends and engage in fast-paced mayhem across varied battlegrounds that impact strategy and change the way you play the game. Some of the characters included have been around for over 20 years in Blizzard history. There's Diablo, Kerrigan, Malfurion, Lady Sylvanas, Thrall, Arthas, and so many more. I was a huge World of Warcraft player a few years ago. I also dabbled in Diablo 3 for a brief moment in time, and Starcraft I always wanted to get into but never did. I think if I had played Starcraft, I probably would have transitioned into this game a little bit easier, but seeing as I played wow, I started off quite a bit lost. I'm so used to all the games I play using the WASD keys, but with HOTS you have to use the right click to move. Super confusing when you go to move and instead you mount your horse. After I got used to moving around the map, I had to get used to totally different keys for my attacks. Attack bars use the Q, W, E, and R keys, and it's so weird and I don't know why they did this to us! StarCraft and Diablo both use the same kind of top-down angle that HOTS does, so if you're used to those games, I'm sure you won't feel too out of place with this one. I thought that the way you go about fighting in this one was a lot of fun too. Usually I rage when it comes to PvP, but this one wasn't quite as infuriating because you had extra minions to come and help, and you also had things to destroy along the way. So if you got mad about being killed, then you could just go and shoot at the wall for 10 seconds and all would be right in the world. This is a game that I definitely recommend that you guys go try out. There were beta keys sent out, but it is now totally free to play. All you need is a battle.net account and you're good to go. If this isn't the type of game you like, but you're still looking for something free that Blizzard offers, they have Hearthstone as well. I haven't tried that either, but maybe you could check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. You can find me on my channel, Brits Games, and you can see me stream on twitch.tv slash babypaws. Sub and follow and I'll give you e-hugs. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye. Like, Accept. I accepted your party invite. Are you happy? Yeah. Hey. I can still be Rainer. Can you? It's I not... don't know. Try to ready. Oh, I can't be ready. Yeah. Aww. Still select. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.